You are watching Sammy, the Interviewing Toucan, made possible by the Indiana Young Readers Center. Hey everybody, I'm Sammy and I'm here today with illustrator Penelope Delahan. Hi Penelope, how are you today? I'm doing great, how are you? I'm great, I'm so excited to be talking to you. I love your book that's here and I know you've got another book to show us, but to get started, can you tell us a little bit about yourself and your connection to Indiana? So I am born and raised in Indiana. I was born in Goshen, Indiana, which is up north, kind of near the Michigan border. And that's where I went to school. And now I live in Indianapolis near Broad Ripple with my family. Oh, that's great. And tell us a little bit about your work. How long have you been an illustrator and what's your style? Tell us everything. So I'm an illustrator, which means I draw the pictures that go along with uh, the text for books. Um, I started illustrating full time in 2004. So it's been 16 years and I do all kinds of fun things. And I work with magazines and newspapers and now I do children's books and um, do web stuff and it keeps me very busy. And it's such a cool job because I get to paint every day. So would you, I mean, you're an artist. I am an artist, yes. That's so great. Um, tell us a little bit more about where you're at in your creative journey and where do you hope to be someday? So my style has changed quite a bit over the years. I started drawing these little tiny drawings and then I started painting um, and getting more expressive. And now I do all kinds of things. I love to experiment with art. Um, so I do collage and digital and painting and all kinds of things. And I started off uh, mostly doing work for magazines and now I do a lot of children's books which is the new thing for me. I had my first children's book published last year and I have um, another one came out earlier this year and another one's coming out in November of this year and I am working on two more right now so it's, <gasps> it's quite a lot and it's really fun. I love illustrating for children. Now, a lot of people have questions about how do you become an illustrator? How do you start getting work like in magazines and things like that? Can you talk to us a little bit about that? Do you have an agent? How does that all work? Yes, I do have an agent, but I didn't start off that way. I think the key to being an illustrator is just drawing, drawing, drawing. So I draw all the time. And um, actually, I have a daughter who's 11, and she wants to be an illustrator when she grows up. So she and I draw together all the time. In fact, she's in the other room right now drawing. <laughs> so I think that's the best way to go about it is just to draw. And then I have a website, which is PenelopeDelahan.com. And we'll and definitely, my, we'll, we'll put that in our notes down at the bottom so people can get that. So I post there and put my drawings up on there. And then people who hire me find me via my website and then they ask me to draw for them. So um, it's a really, it's really fun because everything is a new challenge. And so it's, it's interesting to, um, get a new assignment and then brainstorm all over again these new images and then be able to bring them to life. It's very, it's very fun and challenging. Oh my gosh, I love that. And, you know, someday maybe I'll get the opportunity to interview your daughter. If she grows yeah, up and becomes an Indiana that. illustrator <laughs> like you, that would be so fun. Yeah. So how are you guys doing with this current health crisis? We've been in the pandemic for several months now. How are you doing? Do you have any advice for other people? Yeah, we've been actually doing pretty well because I work from home anyway, mm -hmm. so I didn't have a big transition there, and we already homeschooled, so that was another thing that we were already doing at home, so it wasn't too much of a stretch for us to be at home all the time, um, so it's it's hard not to hug our relatives. That's the, that's the hardest part, I think, but um, we're doing very well, and I, I think um, part of it is that we are always learning things, so we have good, like there's lots of online classes and um, materials out there to learn. So we are enjoying um, picking up new skills right now. And we're also getting movement every day, which I think is my number one um, key to staying sane and being happy right now is just to get outside and take walks or go swimming in the river or um, walking the dogs around the neighborhood. It always helps me to move. I need you to talk a little bit more about swimming in the river. How does one do yeah. that here in Indianapolis? Do you just walk there and jump in? 
We do. We we are um, our house backs up to the river, so the White River is right behind our house, and it's not um, south of 16th Street. So we are we feel like it's relatively clean, <laughs> and we shower and hose off every time we go swimming. But it feels so good to just go down there, and we find shells and rocks and gather you know, interesting feathers that we find. We always see blue herons down there. So that's really fun. And we also have bald eagles down there. That and that's by. a, that's a great bird. I mean, I know a little bit about birds being, being a bird, but you know, uh, wow, that's amazing that you see eagles. Yeah, Very cool. it's really cool. So we just walk down there and jump right in. So nature and movement, huh? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that sounds great. Okay, well, um, I'm inviting all of my interviewees to share a little something. So what would you like to show and tell with us today? Yeah, so you have my first book there, which is Max Attacks by which Kathy is, Appel. Which is really fun. Max is such a feisty little cat. Yes, he is. My kitty. Oh, she walked out of here. <laughs> was my inspiration for that. Her name is Rainy. Oh, she's sitting right behind me. I was going to say, um, you could you could grab her. She would be my first oh. cat in an interview if you want. Let me see if I, she'll let me pick her up. Okay. That's fun. Let's see. Ooh, animals. <gasps> it's a kitty. Look at that. Aww. <laughs> oh, I'm so oh she even talked. She's talking. Oh. This was my, she was my inspiration for Max Attacks That Kitty. And she's a great kitty, and she hangs out with me in my studio. Oh, she looks like okay. a great kitty. Thanks so much for bringing her in. Okay, but you were going to show us your other book. <laughs> yes, and then my second book is Crocodiles Need Kisses Too. And this was written by Rebecca Colby. And it is a book about animals that are sometimes a little bit scary or animals that you wouldn't think are very cuddly. Well, I was just going to say, do they, Penelope? Hey, Penelope. Do they need kisses too? You know that you would like to smooch a, a crocodile. I know you would. Yeah, it might eat me. <laughs> so we have crocodiles and they're the little mamas giving the baby a kiss. Oh. And we have a little porcupine there with his quills. You know, porcupine quills are very long. I just learned that recently. Long. We have a snake. Yeah, all of these creepies. Yeah, they're kind of creepy, which was fun to draw them as sort of friendly. And then they get hugs too. And, little and they all need. And then, so we have vultures. Yep. Great white sharks, apparently. Nice. Yes, things with teeth and claws and talons and. A very crabby um, baby gorilla. Oh, gotcha. And tigers. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know, most of these I, I wouldn't want to kiss. Not but, too much. But you've drawn them in such a way that, you know, <laughs> maybe I would want. Oh, there we yeah. go. That's the and one. Hairy spiders, yes. That's, I was waiting for a big fat spider, and there <laughs> it is. You know, I need to really research what I normally would eat in the wild, because I wonder <laughs> if I would eat those. I don't know. I don't eat much here. <laughs> right. Oh, it's a beautiful book. Oh, look at that. You know, who's throwing a little tantrum there and having a hard time. Gosh, I've never seen a kid throw a tantrum. No, ah. it doesn't happen, really. It's just myth. Right. And then his oh. little mom gives him a hug. And... That's so sweet. Well, thank you so much for sharing that and for the interview. Um, I really appreciate it. Who was the author of that one, you said? This is by Rebecca Colby. Okay, great. And this one over here is Kathy Appelt. Appelt. Uh huh. Great, great. Well, gosh, Penelope, this has been so great. I really appreciate talking to you and best thank of you. luck with your journey. And I'll just say to all of our watchers that this is your favorite Hoosier Toucan encouraging you to read local. So long. Thank you.